Surprise, mother Hi everyone, Kimmy Beato here and C717G. Yeah. Our little William, but he's asleep right now, so yeah. And when is this asleep? Not much actually wakes him up, believe it or not. It's very rare when he wakes up if we're making noise. So yeah. Um um anyway, I just wanted to do like a vlog video because we've not been doing many videos lately. So I'm gonna try and get back into that routine. Um there is also gonna be a, a new video on C seven one seven G's YouTube channel. Um just waiting for the phone to charge because he's going to record it with his phone instead of the laptop, I'll do it with the laptop, it's easier, it's quicker. Um, and yeah, we're going to do something else on that one, so look forward to that, whoever's on C717G's channel, and if you're not, I definitely suggest it. Um, as you can tell, it's been a bit weird. Oh, my neck, I just heard it crack. I just heard it crack. <laughs> yeah. Um, tomorrow we've got to register William. Register his bird. Yeah, register, register his bird. Um, for those that don't know what happens when you give birth, you have then six weeks to register your baby, or you get a fine for like... A thousand pound. Yeah, something like that. A thousand pound fine. Yeah, and um, birth certificates cost... £11. Oh, £11 each. Yeah. And so if you don't know that, get doing that very quickly. Um, especially if you've just given birth and you don't know. Um, yeah. Might be different in other countries, but more than likely be the same. Yeah. I think most of my viewers are in the United Kingdom. So hopefully I'm helping you. <laughs> um, and... Should we tell should we tell them all of his, all of his names? Go on. His name is William Arto Anthony Grant. The Arto is from my Swiss surname. Um and the Anthony and Grant is from Chris's names. And William I have had picked out since I was sixteen years old. So Two names for me, two names for Chris. The Williams from that film, what's the film called? Yeah, I named him after the character William in A Night's Tale because it's one of my favourite ever films when I was growing up. And Heath Ledger was like my favourite ever actor, um, still is. And yeah, I just thought that character was amazing. So, we've got our William. <laughs> um, and I'm sure Heath Ledger would definitely love that as well. Mm. If he was, you know, not past. But yeah, he was a great actor. And obviously, everyone knows him from the Bat Batman film, The Dark Knight. Dark Knight yeah. um, because he did like a legendary um, acting on that film of the Joker. I think he was great in that film, he really did. I don't even like Batman films, and the only Batman film I do like is The Dark Knight, just because he thought he was in it. So, yeah. Um, is there anything you'd like to say? I don't know, the screen's gone really blurry. Oh. Uh, hey, get off the screen. Loads of pop ups coming up, I'm like, ah, get off. Um, get off the screen. Because this one never, like, updates things <laughs> it keeps coming up with updates and uh, as you can tell this is not my laptop this is Chris's laptop I use it more often than he does though because it's not really one for computers even though he's got two hey I'm not a technical person I just like spending money I know <laughs> I've had to, I've had to train him out of that yeah you got trained yeah pretty much <laughs> Because otherwise, we would have never had any money. Literally, if we'd be scrounging for food. With the way he spends, we'd be scrounging for food off the floor. 
Oh, in the bins. I don't spend that much money. It does. He's got a pair of shoes that... How many grand? 2,000. For a pair of shoes that I barely ever wear. No. Um, so, yeah, I've had to, you know, kind of stop him from doing that. Because otherwise we'd never have any money. We'd never have any food in the cupboards. Willie wouldn't have shit. <laughs> yeah. So, but he's learned. He's learned. He's still learning because he still does go for really expensive stuff online. And I'm like, no. You're going to be able to get everything, not just one thing. But... Yeah. We're getting there. <laughs> um my hair looks really funny. So's mine. Yeah, I washed it before so it's it's dried all naturally because I, I barely ever use the hair dryer anymore. So yeah. And William now, I think, is 14 or 15 days old. 15 days. Is it? Yeah. Well, he was born on the 28th, so I'm just kind of going off when I remember it being the 12th, and then I did a few days off. Yeah. Don't know if I'm right or not, but 28th he was born. And he was born close to the time that I was born, though. And it was 11.43 at night. 11.43. But get this, both my parents say two completely different times for my birthday. One says I was born at 9 something a.m. And the other says I was born at 11 something p.m. That's not another right time. I have no idea. Um, I just went off one of them for my moon sign. So, and I also like went through all the signs of which one it would more likely be and yeah it, it's the one that comes for so yeah if any of you are interested in Libra Libra? no huh? in star signs then find out your moon sign as well it's so much more interesting because the moon sign is what you don't show to people it's like the inside and your sun sign is what you show to people what I show to people is Libra and then on the inside of the cancer, so I'm like secretly shy. And off here I come off like really bored and outgoing and stuff. Now you, you, you kind of get it. But anyway, a lot of people know all that anyway. I'm just telling you just in case you don't know it. I really need to stop clapping. Um, I always used to clap dinner and now William was born and I still clap. I'm like, ah! I need to stop clapping. I'm going to wake him up. <laughs> I know. It was yesterday when we tried everything to try and get him up and he was just like not having any of it. Yeah. We had to, we had to get him up because he was, you know, he's not eating in a few hours. A few hours and I was like, right, we really need to get him up now so he eats. Um, and no, it does not wake up when you want him to wake up, but when you want him to go to sleep, he just doesn't. You'll sleep most of the day as well. So at night time he's more awake and then it's like, oh my god. As soon as you close your eyes, that's it. It's like, yeah. And sometimes he's not hungry and he doesn't need his nappy changing. Sometimes he just really wants attention. I don't mind that as well because I'm, I'm like that. So, mm -hmm. yeah. I think he's got that from me. Um, I don't mind it though because I find it really adorable. I just cuddle him when it just. I'll I'll be in bed. I'll cuddle in, and then I'll rock him to sleep, and then he'll be fine. You do papoosh for five minutes. Most of the time, I do rock him to sleep completely, and then he's like, he snores as well. He's got a little snore. It's so cute. And normally I don't like snorers, and then William snore. It's like adorable, so I'm like, I don't care. It's the bows. As you can tell, you don't hear a peep out of him when he's asleep. It's like, if any of you know what a monk is like, right? William is just like a monk when he's asleep. He literally 
It's like he's dead straight. He looks dead when he's asleep. And I, you do have to check his breathing. And I looked dead when I was asleep. When I was a baby and a child. And as I progressed further into life. Apart from when I got older and then I fidget like don't know what. Yeah, you never stop moving now. Yeah, but I used to look dead and my grandma used to have to check on me, check to see if I was breathing and I do the same thing with William because he looks like a monk when he's asleep and it's so cute, he just does. He's like so content, his face is just like dead straight. Uh, yeah. And he's on the world. Yeah. He does, it properly reminds me of a monk. Like, so peaceful. It's funny. But when he's awake, you know, the monkness goes. Then he's like, I want mummy's boob. And you have no age ones left. Yeah. <laughs> he has gone for Chris's boobs quite a few times as well. <laughs> and it's quite funny. It really is. And sometimes, if he can't find my nipple, he cries. It's really cute. It's like the most adorable thing ever. I'm like, oh, you can't find it, I'll help you. But <laughs> <laughs> it does, it's, it's quite cute. It's like that. Yeah, it does. It's like, I'm, I'm trying to find it, mummy. <laughs> Start crying. That's what he does when he wants food, he goes. He, I call it bobblehead. I do. Yeah. I call it bobblehead. He bobbles his head around, like side to side when he's hungry. That's how you know he's hungry. If it's not hunger, if it's a nappy changing or a tummy ache or something, his face will just go bright red for a few seconds, then it'll stop, then it'll start again. Like, yeah, he either just done a shit, a fat, or he's got an upset tummy. Mm. Yeah. I know him already. Yeah. But yeah, sometimes it just wants attention. Which is totally understandable coming from me. Yeah, you always want attention. Yeah. I'm adorable. Of course I want attention. Why me? I'm adorable. Why don't you want attention then? I look adorable like this. <laughs> I'm um, so adorable. But yeah, obviously, I know that it really, really is the best thing to do to love you for a long time and to love your own company. And I do that, but I do love attention as well. Mm -hmm. I do. I really, really do. When I, when I'm on my own, though, I'm like. I think I'm just going to spend the rest of the two weeks by myself. I do. I, I end up going way, way into a long time when I'm, when I'm by myself. And I'm not with anyone. I spend enormous amounts of time by myself. I know in a relationship, I want to be around my boyfriend a lot of the time. So, yeah. If there's anyone else like, out there like that, do tell me, because I understand. It's strange. I'm one that loves my alone time, but then when I've got a boyfriend, I'm like, I want to do everything with you. <laughs> um, um, yeah. And we've come up with a routine that seems to be working for sleep. That's why we actually look awake. Most parents in the newborn stage they never get any sleep we actually get quite a lot of sleep oh proof <laughs> we do actually get quite a lot of sleep um because we'll both go to bed when william goes to sleep um apart from now obviously sometimes we'll be up that's just a choice that's not because we can't go to bed um and We'll go to sleep as soon as he's asleep. And then we'll have about two hours before he wakes up. And then we'll sort him out, do whatever he needs, give him some attention, and then we'll go back to sleep when he's asleep again. And then wake up. And the same goes on. 
and we both get up every single time he wakes up so that we can keep an eye on each other, make sure neither of us is falling asleep because it's very dangerous to fall asleep with a baby in your arms and all that stuff. So, yeah. That's why we're lacking on uh, videos, uploading videos, because we haven't really got the time. Yeah. Um, we will do it as much as possible, though. Um, and I do stick to my word. So I did always say that I would do that when I had the time. Um, but, yeah. I'm a chicken of my word. I'm a chicken of my word. <laughs> Instead of man of my word, I'm a chicken of my word. God. <laughs> Um, what was I saying? I can't remember. But anyway, we'll probably get loads and loads of sleep again after like one, because he he wakes up around twelve. Around the time he was born, he wakes up basically. Yeah, it's about half eleven now. Yeah, so he'll he'll probably wake up just before twelve. And then he'll be up for a few hours, normally. He'll probably get sleep about 2. Yeah. About 2, 3 o'clock in the morning for 2 hours. Yeah. Then he'll be awake again. And then 2 hours again. Mm-hmm. I normally get up in the middle of the night, though, because normally it's just these in the middle of the night when we've been asleep for 2 hours. Normally it's me. I get up with him, feed him. Put him back down, and yeah, like that most most of the night and in the morning. So I wake up a lot of times. He wakes up as well just to make sure I'm awake. But at the moment, because we're waiting to get paid, and we ran out of bottle milk, so we're just on the breasts. So and the breast pump is this, useless. Yes, and this one can't feed in my breasts. Because the breast pump takes about a decade just to get this much out. You get less than an ounce and it takes about half an hour. Yeah. It's pointless. I know. I thought getting a pump would, like, save you a lot of time. Like, oh yeah, bottle done. I can do more bottles. But you can only really get one bottle. So I don't even see the point in having a breast pump because it's doing the exact same thing that I'm doing. It just takes a hell of a lot longer. Yeah, I don't, I don't get the point. I've not got an electric pump because they're too expensive. Um, so William is on uh, bottle milk, which is the powder one, Cowan Gate, and also breast milk, and he eats loads. Hmm. Literally, I don't even know how much, but it's so much. He's always hungry. Yeah, about four times. Four times in the space of half an hour. Yeah, and he's gained a lot of weight since he was born as well. So, and in a really, really short period of time, he's gained eight ounces in three days. That mm. is how much he eats. And um, what was I gonna say? I was gonna say something, but it's drifted to my mind. He's what fifteen days old. He was. He weighed five pound eight, and he now weighs around six pound three. Yeah. It's only been about fifteen days. Yeah. So he gains, he gains weight really quickly, and he eats a lot, which is good because I had a really, really, really bad appetite when I was a baby, and child, and growing up. So, yeah. Thankfully, we've got him out of that very quickly. He's. He didn't have a good, a good appetite when he was in my tummy. Mm. Um, and because I fed him every two hours in all of like the whole time near enough, he got a bigger appetite, which I'm so glad about. I'm like, yay, we did it. We've given him a good appetite. Um, and I would just constantly never stop wanting to eat. I know. Can you hear me? Dreaming. He's dreaming. <laughs> He's fast asleep. I would show you everyone, but I can't because he's nice and fast asleep and flat in his cot, so I don't want to move him and he's sort of in. Yeah. Um, I 
forgot what else I was going to say. I'm sure I was going to say something. I don't know. I'm not sure. But yeah, we're going to get some um, Callan Gate again. Either tomorrow or the day after. So we'll be on bottles again and my boob. For some reason though, my, uh, the breast milk actually sends him to sleep a lot quicker. Like, he'll start falling asleep while he's drinking it, and with the bottle milk, he doesn't. So I'm like, what's in my breast milk that makes him so sleepy? You don't even drink half of the bottle milk, neither. I know. He drinks loads of these. Mm -hmm. I mean loads. Um, I finally now know how to position him properly. Um, and at first, he kept going for the tip, and it really hurt. And he did that, and he can get cuts and stuff, just in case some, some of you don't know. So, yeah, definitely ask a midwife or the team that helps you with breastfeeding on how you should breastfeed so that you don't end up with cuts and you don't end up feeding your baby blood from your nipples because they cut it. <laughs> and you've got milk milk in your breasts and you feel a lump massage it and the milk will start coming out. Yeah, that's the blockage. You get, she called them milk ducks. Milk ducks, yeah. I don't know why they call them milk ducks. A bit weird name, but still. I don't know. Um, and you get like lumps in, in your breasts and that's completely normal. It just means that where the milk's meant to come out of it's blocked. So you have to massage your boobs just to get rid of the blockage and then more milk will come out. Just, uh, just some helpful information there for you because we got told and I know there's a lot of people that are pregnant or about to give birth and stuff like that so yeah hopefully this video has helped mm -hmm. and yeah if you're in a relationship with someone and you've just had a baby or you're about to make sure you do the same thing as we're doing where you both get up all the time when he wakes up and just have both of you checking on each other to see if you're both awake so that you don't have any risks of something happening if you're falling asleep and the baby's in your arms or something like that. Don't do it where one's up at one time and the other one's up at another time because that can be dangerous and you will be very tired so you could possibly fall asleep. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah. If you've seen articles that I've seen and you've heard the midwives and health visitors, you will know it's dangerous. So, yeah. Sorry to make it quite uh, dismal. But, do you want to say anything quirky? It's helpful information. Yeah. What happened to my voice? I'm really aged on it. I don't know. Uh, helping you. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, we're going to do another video on the Chrissy channel. And if you want to see that as well, definitely check out C717G. You'll find him. Some of my videos will come up because his name is in most of my titles. And yeah, you just need to keep going down and you'll find it. And don't mind him. He's just like this 24 7 really. He's, he's quite weird. Well, thank you. That's fine. Okay. Um, I am. I see where it is good. Yeah. You take the cake, though. <laughs> <laughs> With the cherry on the top. I am no one gets unusual. the cherry, it's you. You earned the cherry. I am very unusual. I thought I was like the weirdest person I know, but then I met this one. And yeah, he just takes the biscuit. Hello, hello, hello. I can be really weird though, even he calls me a weirdo sometimes. I think we're just, yeah, we're just two weird people. Yeah. I just have a different weirdness than you. Tough off my eyebrows moving. Your kind of weirdness makes people hey. go like this, and then my kind of weirdness, people just go. Huh? Or they start laughing. Or they shake their head. That's my kind of weirdness. I'm just not normal. Oh, squeaky. No, that is the definition of weird. Yeah, just weird and then me. 
I'd say not as weird, but in different ways. Yeah. But anyway, just before I start to bore you, I'm going to let you go for now. And yeah, stay tuned. And there will be more videos. And I've not really been thinking of video ideas as of late because I've been very busy with our little baba. And yeah, we really need to <sighs> sit down one day and think for ideas. So that'll be on the day when we're not as busy, when we've had loads of sleep and we've got nothing to do on board. So yeah. Once well, you've got any video suggestions and comment down below, yeah. let us know. Please do give me the suggestions and it will help me so much. And we'll get doing them when we've got some time like this like now. Um, and yeah, enjoy the videos to come, enjoy the past videos, there is about 106 of them I think, um, already, so keep watching all them, if you've not watched them all, um, keep you going until you see the next video come up, and stay tuned, and toodaloo motherfuckers. Bye. I think it's I think he said bye in the sleep. <laughs> bye. Bye. Toodaloo. Daddy.